Yo, what's going on guys, and welcome to the first episode of my Valencia Master League on PES 2020. This is going to be the first, ep the first of hopefully many episodes of this series, where I'm going to look to take Valencia to greatness really. Whether how, how many seasons, I'm not sure how, how long, I'm not sure, but... It'll, it'll be however many I need. Now, first of all, we need to choose the manager that we want to appear as. Not any of these B-Tech managers over here. So it's between Jerome Cruyff, Maradona, Zico, Romario, Bebeto, Carlos, Roberto Carlos, Lota Mateus, and Rutelet. And who would I expect to take over at Valencia? I could see Zico coming in at Valencia. We'll keep it as Zico, the Brazilian. I believe he was a midfielder. I'll have a look now. We'll keep those settings, change it to pounds because I am British. Uh, let me quickly search up. Zico. Now, this is one of the coolest things about PES 2020 the, the cutscenes. Meeting that's Danny Parejo and Kevin Gamero. We're sitting down meeting Jasper Sillison. He was a midfielder. As an, as an attacking midfielder, I thought he was that to be fair. There's Ferran Torres, is that? Probably one of the most sought after Valencia players in the squad. Very good young talent he is. This is a winger. Having a meeting on the training ground. I think for this first episode as well, I'm going to try and conclude maybe one or two transfers and maybe do a single friendly match. I don't want to lengthen out these episodes, to be honest. I do like the music in these cutscenes as well. Zico, I'd like to discuss this season's objectives. As sports star fucking hell. As sports director, I think we should be aiming to win the league this year. What's your opinion? Nope. Do you not realise there's three teams called Barca, Real and Atletico? We should aim to make it to the UEFA Champions League, honestly. It's not the most ambition of goals by any means, but I believe it's best we aim to finish this season in a position to win a place in the UEFA Champions League. And we can say that because I did the USB licenses and option file. Hell yeah. The nodding. Pog. I guess a steady plan may work better. Alright, you have my backing. Massive dub. It's not as ambitious as I'd expected, but we support your decision. And then next we have a press conference. I've played I've been playing a little bit of Master League off camera. And I don't plan to actually play that many games this season either. Hey, it's even got like the orange, that's sick. And we're meeting the press. Congratulations on becoming a new manager. And there will be much competition for the league title this season. How do you face your chances at winning the league in your first year? We're far from favourites. I want to thank you, the chair, thank you, the chairperson, and everyone who have played a part to get me here. Regarding our title chances, I think it's a little presumptuous to consider us contenders in the first year of mine. There are other teams who are primed to contend from the get-go. However, I have a plan in place to put us in contention for, to contend for silverware for years to come. Hell yeah, perfect answer. What style of football do you want to play this season? I want to put on a show. You can't blame people for wanting to see results, but I'm of the opinion that putting on a good show is just as important as winning. If you're going to win, make sure you win in style. That's the type of football the fans want to see, and that's what I aim to show them. So 
Let's have a look at the manager's office. Training regime, scouting activities, managing the budget, your managerial career, the main schedule for August, this season's target. Let's have a look at the team. Landing up in a 4-4-2. Sillerson is going to be the goalkeeper for this first season. Daniel Wass at right back, I don't really like, to be honest. I don't like the look of that. I'd rather have him as a midfielder. So, I'm probably going to bring in a new right back. I think I've got my eyes on one player. Gabriel Paulista and Diacarbi are both good full, both good centre backs. Oh, actually, we don't need a right back. We've got Alessandro Florenzi. Perfect. So I think the defense is going to stay for the first season, but next season I think I'll look to improve on it. Gaia as well is a very good left back. Used to be a brilliant FIFA talent, but his career is more stalled in recent years. The midfield is a touchy. Uh, is a touchy position. We need a new left mid, no doubting that. Ferran Torres could do, will do very well at right mid. Can Guedes play at left mid? 79. I'd rather bring in like a high rated player and use Guedes up front, personally. Yeah, that'd be a very good idea. I'll go for that. So we'll bring in a new left mid. Uh, what about squad depth? Uh, well, we got Rodrigo, so I think he'll start as a striker. Goalkeeper, we've got a backup goalkeeper. Three centre backs, so we're fighting on centre back depth. We've got a backup right back. We've got a backup left back. Central midfield, we haven't really got that much of a backup. We've got Soler and Kangin Lee, who isn't really a centre mid. So I think I'm going to bring in a backup centre mid. Back up centre mid and a left mid. I think that's what I'm going to look for. And then striker, we're really good to go. We've got Sabrino, Maxi Gomez, Gamero. We'll stick with the 4 4 2 as well. Maybe we'll change it in season. Now, let's have a look at the negotiations. Now, let's have a look at who we could buy. We need to make a decision on the left mid. I think Everton. He's just going to be a bit attacking, so we'll remove him. We'll try and go in for Guerrero is the youngest. This is stats. Speed is all right. Acceleration is decent. Good stam. Really good tight possession. Lofted pass and dribbling. This is crossing. A uh, Carl is 82. Play left back, left mid, left left back, left mid, or left wing, or centre mid. Acuna is a bit older, and same with Costa, it's just a year older. What's good? Better stamina and speed. Finishing is a bit lackluster. I think I'd want to go with Rafael Guerrero, but my second choice will be Costa. Let's, let's go with an offer of 20 million. Give them a, give Guerrero a four year deal. We'll go for that. We'll wait for that. And then for the centre mid position, Renato Sanchez just looks mediocre in all of his stats, whereas Palacios. But Palacios does have a lot more potential. He's a lot more room to grow. Even though he's a year, only a year younger. And I like the idea of bringing Exegol Palacios into the club. We can bring him, him in for 26 and Guerrero in for 20. That, I think that would be good business. need to give him a lot of money so we'll offer him 3.2 million annual salary give him a hefty appearance boost if he gets if he gets a goal because I don't expect him to get that many goals we'll give him 10 racks we'll go for that now let us wait until the deals conclude 20 minutes and I don't want to have the deals go on for too long Palacios would is happy to join. 
And so did Garabo. Let's bring them both in. Yay, clapped. Oh, I've, oh no! Oh god! I need to renegotiate. Oh, stinker. Uh, ba da 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 uh, I'm gonna have to sell a player before I do that. Thing. So who'd I be willing to get rid of? We'll start here. Manu Vallejo. I can't see him doing too well for us, so... Not listed players. Transfer policy. Open to offers, place and transfer list. Sends, nah, Sabrino. It's only got a value of 2 million. Jeez. I don't think I need that many strikers, so... I'll sell, try my best to sell. If I could sell them too, I could free up a bit of money. And hopefully get the Palacio still over the line. Oh, God. No offers. Looks like we're going for the first game. The Spanish Cup first leg. Treat you guys for the first episode. Here's Guerrero. Very cool cut stain, I must say. Does actually look pretty realistic in this game, I must say. This is... Hello, I'm Rafael Guerrero and I'm super excited about joining the club. I hope to see you all soon. Come on you Valencia CF. Pog. Let's go. First game is against Barcelona. This is a very big game. This will be the... This will be what decides how we do... How well we do this season. Let's see if we could keep up with the big boys. Barca also line up in a 4-4-2. Jordi Alba is a left mid. Oh, they've got Martin Braithwaite on here as well. Pog. Jaume Costa. The Guerrero. I swear I turned the music off on this game. Maxi Gomez. Kang in Lee. Okay. We'll go with this team. But instead of Guerrero sitting on the bench, he starts left mid. We'll put Vass on the bench because he can probably do a job at left mid, to be fair. Yeah. We'll go with that team, let's sort out the tactics, attacking instructions, possession game, maintain formation, defensive instructions, all that defense. We don't want the long ball. Uh, yeah, short pass. Nice. Alright, first game against Barcelona. Proceed to match in coast in coach mode. Barza field a strong side, but it's probably not in the preferred formation. This would be Kike Setien at the helm, would it not? Or would it be still be Ernesto Valverde? If it's Ernesto Valverde, then that makes sense. But if it's Kike Setien, then... Quite, quite bizarre, to be honest. Oh yeah, turn the commentary off, Pog. Here we go, Spanish Super Cup. They haven't got the license for the Spanish Super Cup, which is slightly annoying. All right, the camp now, I believe, as well. Got the inside of the stadium. Yeah, this is the this is the camp now. This looks so good. I must say, Peds do the stadiums a lot better than FIFA. Here we go. First game for Zico 
as the manager of Valencia against the mighty Barcelona. It's going to be a very difficult first game. It's going to be a test of him and his Valencia side's qualities. Against the, against the Barca side with the likes of Lionel Messi, Antoine Griezmann, Luis Suarez, Frankie de Jong, Marco Dreta Stegen. They do have a lot of good players. Guerrero donning the number 29. We'll keep his number that for now until next season. Here is the Valencia side. Sinister starts in goal. Gaia, Di Acaba, Gabriel, and Florenzi make up the back four. Guerrero, Condogbia, Parejo, and Ferran Torres make up the midfield four. With Rodrigo and Gonzalo Guedes leading the line. A very strong Valencia side coming up against the stronger Barca side. With Testegan in goal, Junior Firpo, PK, and TT and Roberto make up the back four. Alba, Messi are wide, and Frankie de Jong and Rakitic in the middle. And Suarez and Antoine Griezmann lead the line. Lots of debuts in this game. Rafael Guerrero, Junior Firpo, Frankie De Jong, Antoine Griezmann. And now we kick off. Come on, boys, let's win this game. We're going to start off on the defensive. We don't want to concede early against Barca. We really don't. Is Rafael Guerrero the new signing? Oh, I didn't change the match time. Uh, Guerrero's ball into the box. Straight into the palms of Stegen. Will it look to launch a counter-attack here, maybe? No, he goes along for Griezmann. Diakabi wins the header. Going to make this a no-cut episode for you guys. Because, I, one, I can't be bothered. Actually, now I'm, I'm going to edit it. Because I want to become a good YouTuber. Here's Gonzalo Guedes. Oh, he slips. Unlucky from the Portuguese. He did a John Terry. In the Champions League final. Against Manchester United. Definitely not a better Liverpool fan. Far from it, mate. It's Gondogbia. Ferran Torres. Valencia look to build up something here. Guerrero. Here's Parajo, the number 10. He could be the talisman for Valencia this season. Oh, Rodrigo almost gets the ball from Ferran Torres. But just, just nicked from, just nicked by him, TT. Here's Rakitic. Sergio Roberto looks for the long ball to Luis Suarez. He nods it down, but intercepted by Diacabe. Slow play from Valencia here. Ferran Torres, the youngster, finds a very good ball to Gonzalo Guedes, who holds off PK well. He plays in. Rodrigo hits the post. It goes in. It's 1 0 to Valencia. I, no one would have seen this coming. It's an initial un, bit of unlucky play from Rodrigo Moreno, who hits the post with the first shot, but luckily gets the rebound. Osolo Guedes does so well to get that ball into him. Hits the right post, but somehow pokes it into the back of the net, just getting past PK. And it's 1 0 to Valencia. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people would not have seen this coming. Stegen just doesn't react fast enough to get to the second shot. And it's 1 0 to Valencia. This is a very good start for Zico for under the reins of Valencia. Could we be seeing a new superstar club in the making in La Liga in Valencia? If things do carry on like this. You'd have to back them. As Barcelona will look to equalise here. Ferran Torres tackles well. Finds Gonzalo Guedes who looks for a long ball over the top. And Titi does well to hold off his man. Is Jordi Alba deputising at left mid. 
Sticks a stole on the ball here. Looks for a pass central. Now. Moves the ball forward. Here is Jordi Alba again. Holds off. Whoever that is, I can't tell. Furpo. Dispossessed by Gonzalo Guedes, who drops back. Here's Rodrigo now. Slow build up from Valencia once again. Could easily lead to a goal once more to make it 2 0. Here's Ferran Torres. Had a very good start to the game so far, the youngster. Very sought after as well. He tries to just get a through ball into Guedes. But fails now. Here is Lionel Messi, the number 10. One of the greatest players of all time. Finds Rakitic. Sergio Roberto. Stalls. Goes out for a throw in. I can't exactly see what's happening. Rakitic now. Ball into the box. Luis Suarez. Just wide from the Uruguayan. You'd have to back it to do a little bit better there. Jasper Sillison going up against his old club. He's just rooted to the spot. Surely you'd expect someone of Luis Suarez's calibre to do a bit better there. But it goes wide and Valencia get the goal kick. Lorenzi tries to switch the play and does so brilliantly. Finds Rafael Guerrero. Now Condogbia. The French born Central African Republic international. Intercepts it. There, Blair, I can't fucking commentate. I will not get a job in commentary. Far from it. But he's Guerrero. Moves the ball down left. Stops. Ball into the box. Rodrigo misses the header. Falls to Titi, who looks to move the ball forward. Finds Griezmann, the new signing. How much did he cost again? I don't know. Sergio Roberto trying to build up what could be the last attack of the half for Barca but it goes out for a Valencia throw in Rodrigo nods it down for Condogbia Condogbia holds it up and the referee blows his whistle for half time we're going into the break 1-0 to Valencia not a lot of people would have seen this coming but Rodrigo takes his got the goal to change the game for Valencia initially coming off the post but getting the rebound and putting it past uh, Marc Andre Ter Stegen and the Barcelona defence and it, at half time it's 1-0 to Valencia uh, it is Ernesto Valverde as manager hmm. doing as much I'm good. for the next half I'm going to try out one of the coach mode features where we get to speed up the match a bit more so I don't have to edit as much. I think for the games as well, I'm going to try and keep them on extended highlights. As Parejo goes up wide for Florenzi. Ball in. Falls to Ferran Torres who tries to loft one in. Rodrigo. Oh. Now Parcel will look to counter-attack here. Griezmann. Dispossessed. Suarez. Guedes. Oh, finds a brilliant ball out wide to Guerrero. Guerrero holds, just stalls on the ball, running circles. Oh, it's a very good ball in. Rodrigo's header goes straight to Ter Stegen. Uh, I think we're going to make the first sub of the game. Gonzalo Guedes off for Gamero. PK just didn't really do well with that, did he? Now, Valencia have a corner. Danny Parejo to take it. Ball in, cleared, but it falls to Florenzi, who's ball into the box, headed over the bar, but I believe that was Rodrigo, it was a very good corner from Parejo, but Diacarbi couldn't get his head to it, Florenzi put the ball back into the box, Rodrigo's header over the bar, he's Firpo, Rakitic cleared, Florenzi now, Ball over to Guerrero. Threads it through to Rodrigo Moreno. Holds off his man. Resets to Gaia. 
tries to get that back to Bagaya, Condobria, but just too much power on it. Gaia's ball into the box. Over the head of Rodrigo. Now Firpo. Frankie Dion. Ball over. Just go straight into the palms of Jasper Sillerton. Guy's through ball ends up going off the pitch. Let's bring on a... Oh, I was going to bring on Maxi Gomez. Try and get something from these crosses into the box. But, yep. Yeah. Sergio Roberto dispossessed brilliantly by Condobbia. Finds Guerrero now. Gamero. Oh, Gamero and Guerrero. That would be a pretty good that would be a pretty good partnership. Jordi Alba. Where's Junior Fairpo? Fairpo. And it's 1-1. Luis Suarez gets the goal for Barca in the 85th minute. Valencia had the chances, but they didn't take them. Zico surely has to be really upset with his team on the sidelines, but Ernesto Valverde will be over the moon. They had to dig in deep Barcelona, but they've got that late equaliser and could easily push on for the winner now in the first leg. It's a great ball into the box by Junior Firpo on his debut. And the pounce and the pouncer. The Uruguayan Luis Suarez nods it in to equalise for Barcelona. Valencia look to restart the game now. Can Valencia find that winner that could easily give them that could give them that advantage for the second leg, which would be will be in the next episode, guys, where we will cons conclude our signings for this season. He's Jordi Alba. No. Oh, it's a ball into the box. But the referee calls it for full time. The game ends 1-1 to in between Valencia and Barcelona. Rodrigo Moreno got the scoring started after his initial shot hit the post, but managed to get the rebound in just past PK. But then late late in the game, uh Luis Suarez Connected with a cross from the new youngster at Barcelona, the debutant, Junior Firpo, and equalised late in the game for Barcelona. And the score ends here, 1-1, between Valencia and Barcelona. We, wow, we actually dominated the game. 57% possession, more shots, more passes completed against Barcelona. That is a feat and a half. We should have taken our chances. Man... It's upset. That's upsetting. We could easily lose in the second leg as well. Barcelona are a strong side and we will be at the camp now. So we're at home for this leg. And I'll leave you guys on the day of the second leg. Scouting. I'll have a look at that next episode you guys. So that will conclude the first episode of my PES 2020 Valencia Master League save. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like the video. Comment as well, would does help with all the YouTube algorithm and whatnot. Don't forget to subscribe with post notifications on as well. So whenever I do upload, you won't miss it and you'll be one of the first people to watch it. So yeah, with all the necessary said and done guys, said and done guys, I will see you in episode two of the Pez 2020 Valencia save. I right. peace.